Now I mentioned white balance before, it's really important to get your white balance right because if you don't you can end up with some really strange looking colours in your shots. We've probably all seen it before where someone's used the wrong white balance setting and daylight scenes can look very blue or indoor scenes can look very orange. I mean effectively you want it to look as close to what it looks like with your eyes as possible. So the settings are preset A and B. So we can see those on the side of the camera. If I put that onto preset and I press the menu, we can actually set the preset color temperature. Click on the first menu, which is camera process. Okay, now scroll down and you'll see we get to preset temperature. Now that's at 3200K. The K is for Kelvin. Now 3200 Kelvin is for daylight. So effectively the preset is for daylight. We can also scroll down to 5600 K, 5600 Kelvin and make that the preset. Now that would be for filming indoors. Basically the color temperature of light that comes out of a standard bulb inside of a home is 5600 Kelvin. So that would give us indoor filming whereas 3200 Kelvin is for outdoor. I'll leave that on 3200, that's fine. I know the preset is for outdoors. Now, what it means is you've got two other settings, A and B. Now, we don't actually set these in the menu. What we do is we put it onto A and we put a piece of paper, something white, in front of the camera and then we point this at it and make sure we're in manual, which you can confirm by pressing the full auto button. And there we go, manual and pressing the button and that will set the white balance. You can see it says white A OK. So that's set for the A setting on the side of the camera and you have yet another one which is B. So if you put that onto B, let's say you were filming in a different lighting situation, you could do a white balance on B, press the white balance button and you can white balance again on a white piece of paper in a different lighting situation. So effectively A and B is what you have white balanced on and the camera will remember those settings so you can very easily flick between A perhaps for indoors, B for outdoors, preset which I mentioned was 3200 which was outdoors and if you wanted A or B to be in a mixed light and where you've got daylight as well as tungsten light you could do a white balance on the mixed light so it's quite versatile. If, if you're really stuck Flick the camera into full auto and see what, what the camera actually wants to see the light setting as. When I say see what the camera wants to see it as, you look at the image, you'll know very quickly when you do a white balance between what the camera is showing you and what your eyes are showing you. Basically you want it to get to look like what your eyes see. Mm -hmm.